Trump's been in the news, obviously, uh, nonstop ever since even before he was elected. Um, but more recently, it's kind of interesting because a lot of people um, have been talking about the New York Times release that came out related to um, his tax records. So one thing about trademarks is that they're also very public. And so we thought it'd be cool to do an episode where we take a look at some of the registered marks that Donald J. Trump has. So in order to start, as always, what we do is we go to tsdr.uspto.gov. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Um, I think there's a lot of cool stuff that you can find just by seeding through trademark office records just to see what sort of marks uh, individuals and companies have. And in particular, this is interesting because it's a sitting president. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the site that we start off with. It's usually easier just to always go here. Um, you don't necessarily have to start off at tsdr.usptr.gov, um, but I like to start off here. So we're gonna go ahead and click search trademarks. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do a more complicated search. We're gonna do a structured search here. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna type in the individual's name and we're gonna type in his initial and his last name. And then I'm gonna focus on just the marks that were individually registered under his name. You're gonna notice some things uh, as you see at, well, once we look at these results, you're gonna see that a lot of his marks were actually assigned to holding Delaware LLC. Um, but right for now, we're gonna type in Donald and Jay and Trump and individual. Um, by the way, the reason why I'm typing an and in between his name is because I want all hits um, I want the hits to have all these items. So um, for example, let me just show you guys. If you guys just did Donald Trump and then owner, OW at the end, um, we're gonna get a lot. We're gonna get over 9,000, almost 10,000. That's because anything that has a match of Donald or Trump is gonna return a result in the owner name. So uh, again, I want the search to be a little more focused just so, that, so it'll be, I think it'll be more interesting to all of you. Um, so let's keep it let's keep it super focused. Um, and don't worry, we're still gonna have a lot to look at. And let's get some query. You can see there's 286 marks individually registered to a registrant by the name of Donald J. Trump. One thing you're gonna notice right away is that a lot of these marks are actually not live. So a lot of them are dead, but you can see like a lot of these names are are names that I mean would be probably of no surprise to most of you. For example, Trump University. Trump Power, Trump Hotel, related to golf courses, signature collections, vodka. Let, let's get into them, let's look at them. Just out of curiosity, let's see how many are alive and how many are dead before we get into them. Uh, that's something that was immediately inter of interest to me. So in order to do that, again, the OW stands for owner, um, but in order to do that, what you're gonna wanna do to see if we're looking for live marks, you're just gonna wanna add the live indicator. So we're gonna add the live indicator at the end. Uh, let's, so let's see how many of the 286 are, are live. So 68, he has 68 live marks. So 68 dead, 218. So 218 are, are dead. Obviously there's, there's a lot of, <laughs> it, it's, it's always, you learn a lot just by seeing what, what was, what was even filed for, even maybe not necessarily registered. For example, this mark here, this mark here actually died before it was even registered. If you go into here, you can actually go into TSDR. If you click on that TSDR tab, you can actually see why why it was abandoned. Looks like it involved a, an appeal board proceeding, actually. Let's look at some of his more recent marks, some of the ones that are live. <laughs> You're fired. Um, again, this one never registered. As you can see, a um, lot of a lot of filings, a lot of filings. Uh, 218 filings um, that are dead. Um, another 68 that are presently live. Also, there's some that are registered. This shows us all live marks. So we have 170 live registered marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the live indicator too. Now, here we go. So we have 68 live registers, and then let's see how many we have dead, just out of curiosity. So 102 dead registered marks. So again, super interesting. And a lot of these are, for example, like the signature collection, um, Trump University, I've already mentioned some of these already. All kinds of really, really interesting marks. Let's look at some of the live ones. Uh, here's the live, here's the Mar-a-Lago live, my live that's actually marked, that's actually live and registered. Again, this is actually, yeah, registered and has been renewed. So it was registered, it looks like it was filed for back in 2008 and it was registered in 09. This covers picture books, so printed materials. Let's look at what sort of specimens were submitted in this application. This specimen was submitted with the renewal. I mean, as you guys can see, if you guys go into specimens, you can actually see various specimens that, nonetheless, you can see class 16, class 21. Again, this looks like candlesticks, trash cans, coasters, coffee cups. So 
I'm assuming it's related to to hotel related items would be my guess. Let's go ahead and click back. The spa at Trump, let's see what this is. Uh, okay, so this is hotel with spa items, bath crystals, hairspray, mouthwash. And again, one of the things that I forgot to mention, um, a lot of these are actually owned by DTTM Operations LLC. If you go to Secretary of State of Delaware, you'll actually see that Delaware LLC. And interestingly, it was actually registered in, on January 15 of 2016. So it looks like a lot of his, his trademarks were actually transferred over. Some that were even registered prior. Uh, Trump Palace, okay. Again, real estate services, class 36, development and construction, 37, no surprise. Ah, Taj Mahal, casino services under class 41, hotel services under 42. Again, this is registered a long time ago. It was filed for back in 96, uh, registered in 97. This one is not owned by, this is owned by New Trump Econa Holdings, okay. Um, Trump Organization, so real estate planning under class 37 and development. Again, this is registered a long, long time ago, registered in 99. Uh, but again, this is the DTTM operations LLC that we see. Remember, th th we, there are 68 results. This is only going to show us. Oh, actually, this is showing us all 68 restaurant services. Really, like all all kinds, all kinds of marks under under his brands. Obviously, very trademark prolific. Trump Soho. More, again, more real estate development, hotel temporary accommodation services under class 43. Golf related. Oh, Trump card. Okay, so this is okay. Customer recognition program incentives. Card incentives. Again, here DTM or DTTM operations. So as you guys can see, uh, you can just learn a lot about about individuals and their various businesses just by seeing what marks they have filed for. Oh, this is this is the campaign. Kind of interesting. So pol political action committee services under class 35 and fundraising in, under class 36. And notice this was filed in July 14, 2015. So again, in in interesting point, right? Is that you guys can see like when, when the initial planning occurred, started occurring. I mean, it was at least as early as then. It was probably before that, right? It, it's it's another way of recording history and seeing how how brands are developed throughout time. And then when you when you tie that, of course, to, to historical events and to events that have happened, obviously you can use this in your in your business right because for, for tactical reasons by seeing what your competitors are filing on when they're filing how they file um and then obviously like what specimens they submit to that can that can be informative as well this is owned by a nonprofit corp uh his obviously his campaign company just to quickly recap is just search by the individual's name remember to use ands before their first name and last name and then if you want to focus on just the individual make sure you add the word individual in your search query so it's name, first name, and last name, and individual. And then just put that in braces, OW, and you'll be able to find all the marks that are registered to that particular individual. So cool. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. So thank you so much.